Hello, I'm Greg, and it's time for another tunnel take. Let's see if I can get you a little better here. So, yeah, I'm back in my happy place. Uh, yeah, I got the um, sidewalls on. Got this metal trim around the perimeter of the uh, roof uh, finished today. Got the walls back on. Well, got the walls on. And uh, got my lights back up around the perimeter up here. And got a TV. Let me show you around a little bit. There we go. There's the roof. And the little refrigerator I put out of a guy's house. <laughs> Can't win anymore. And I got a TV over there. And a couple of studio lights. And got a light up here for my grill when I'm cooking out. Oh, oh, wine cooler. That's what usually sits beside me. Um, I don't know where I got the wine cooler thing from. I don't know if it came out of a demo house or something. But during that big storm, the thing fell over and it was just falling over on top of the table here. And uh, now it's not working. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, smoking my uh, Savinelli. Um, I love this rustication. Now, um, uh, Griffin Pipes. Uh, is uh, is is doing some rustication like this? I think it I think it's called a sea rock type, you know, and um, and his looks really good. I mean, really, really gnarly, you know. It, uh, yeah, the more gnarly it is, the better to me because it puts more air gaps between your finger and the bowl, you know. Keep, keeps it keeps my maybe my hand cool, you know. Anyway. Smoke some Lane Very Cherry from Dave 2023. Thank you, thank you, Dave. <laughs> I can't really say thank you, Greg. <laughs> like Dave, thank you, Greg. <laughs> you know, he says that every time he uses that honest lighter that I gave him. And, um, you know, I never had this happen to me before. But, you know, uh, when somebody uses something continually of yours that you gave them, and um and they appreciate it every time you about brings tears to my eyes when he says that now <laughs> i don't know what that's about <laughs> but just know somebody who really appreciates and continually appreciates it you know anyway dave if you want to use another lighter go ahead <laughs> really <laughs> we all have lots of lighters that we want to try out and want to want to see if see see what the deal is with each one of them, you know. Uh, him and Willie and uh, and Brian met up at Boswell's yesterday. That was awesome. All three of the videos were great. Or uh, Dave did two two videos. Or two part or one two parts of, of video of the videos today that was good that was good to see him guys do that meetups are just awesome to me they really are they're really they're really a surreal thing you know when, when you've been watching somebody on, on video and you actually see the person live you know my uh my sister-in-law saw a lady that she always watches on YouTube in some Dollar Tree or something in town here, and um, and it was, it was she could tell how impressed she was just by meeting her, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about something. Let's talk about some. You know, I've got something on mine. Oh. Uh, Who is the biggest consumer, I think, in the world of helium? Who is the biggest consumer of helium in the world?
The answer, from what I understand, is NASA. NASA is the biggest consumer of helium in the world. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to believe or not, but I'm going to put some things out there for you to consider. And, you know, just, just store it in your memory bank. That's what I do with most of the things I, I talk about. I store it in my memory bank. It's things I'm considering. It's pieces of a puzzle I'm putting together of life. The puzzle of life I'm putting together. You remember, I think it was last summer, uh, our officials were saying um, uh, there was there's a Chinese satellite hanging from a weather balloon floating across the United States. I'm going to see if I can get a picture of that right here. And um, when this went on for a couple of days, you know, three days, something like that. Well, it finally goes off the coast of, I think it's Myrtle Beach, going to east, over the Atlantic, and they shoot it down. And they shoot it down. There's a reason why they shot it down over the Atlantic, I think. They had plenty of chances to shoot it down before it ever got over water. We know that. Could it have been that if it did land, if it did fall to earth on land in our country, that the populace would find it and maybe see a label on it of uh, Starlink or DirecTV or something? Maybe? Hmm? Name very cherry. Gosh, I love this stuff. I need about froze out here today putting getting this stuff together. Mm, I don't think it I don't think it got up to the fifty six days when they were claiming it was gonna be. I know half you guys are saying, Craig, you're such a wuss. <laughs> I think it's forty degrees now out here. My nose is getting kinda cold. <laughs> we ain't used to these these, these cold temperatures down here. <laughs> oh gosh. Hmm. Yeah. I don't have a smart TV out here. Just the old flat screen that was in the house. I think one that the boys used to play games on when they were home. Um. Uh. So, but I think I got a, I got a Chromecast little gizmo that goes into the uh, uh, HDMI port. You know, little remote thing. That's able to. That's able to hook to um, hook to my Wi-Fi, so I can uh, so then I can take my phone, and and shoot it to through the Wi-Fi into the um, to the uh, Chromecast uh, little gizmo, so I can watch YouTube on TV you know, that sort of thing. That's what I'm hoping to get. I'm hoping to find it in the house, the one I had out here before. Before the tele television went kaput, um, uh, I, I I think I've hid it from myself. The uh, Chromecast little gizmo thing. Mm. So here, this um, this privacy uh, wall here. If I don't have this privacy wall, all my neighbors down down this side can see right in here. And plus people that are coming down the road, down this road here, can see right in here. You see my TV, my lights, stuff like that. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep this this here. 
And what I did at the bottom of it, I uh, I took a little strip of like one by one, and and drilled, put some screws through it, and screwed the screws through the bottom of the um, of the uh, the privacy wall, the canvas, the tarp, whatever you want to call it, and uh, which which pulled it tight. You know, it's taut, put it that way. Um, so it won't flap so bad and hit the chair and tear itself and all that stuff. Uh, of course, the uh, the roadside wall right there, I, I uh, got it connected good and tight and so uh, it won't be flapping. The more things flap, the more they tear up and all. Oh God, I'm so tired. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna finish some stuff out here load up for a, for a remodel, a big remodel job I got to do in Myrtle Beach, no, not Myrtle Beach, um, Morehead City, which is about two, two hours, two and a half hours from here, something like that, so that's what, that'll be my next video, you'll probably you'll see coming from there, and, um, so it'll be a motel room deal until she gets a plumber there to, to put a new hot water heater in and that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, I'll just stay there probably Thursday and Friday and come back home. She wants me to go ahead and get the, the kitchen cabinets all tore out, set the cabinets to the road, see if anybody wants to, wants to pick them up. And, uh, Assuming I can get them out without tearing them apart, sometimes houses this old, the cabinets were actually built in. And uh, when the cabinets are built in, you got, you got to tear them apart just to get them, just to get them out. You know, that's just, that's just the nature of it. Um, when you buy store-bought cabinets, they come in sections, like boxes, you know, and they, they go next to one another. They're screwed to one another. The, the, the face boards are screwed into one another through the side. You know, you open the door and you see the screws into the face board, into the other face board, you know, and, and they're sandwiched, sandwiched together like that. And, and then the screws are going into the wall, into the studs and through the back of them, which are real, which, which they're simple to take out and they'll come out in one unit, you know, each cabinet will. And, um, so we'll see, we'll see how, how it all turns out. And she says the floor is kind of springy. I didn't notice that when I was there. Of course, I didn't. I, I wasn't jumping around everywhere in the place when I when I went down to check the place out one time. Uh, so uh, get the canvas out, check the floor out, tear out what needs to be tore, what what's weak there, and. Uh, yeah, and coming back home probably Friday night. And then once the hot water heater gets in there and I can I can live there, I'll stay weeks at a time. I'll probably when it starts warming up a little bit, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll trailer my motorcycle down there, and that way my truck and my trailer stays there, um, and I run back and forth to the house on weekends with my bike is what I do. Yeah. Well, you guys have a good night. I'll see you now. All right, bye.